right, guys. Well, we're here at Bear Camp, Squatch Camp in Alaska. I'm with Rob Roy Menzies and Beans Baxter. They both have YouTube channels. Check them out and subscribe. I'll throw links up in this video. But I wanted to talk about a camp firearm that will protect you from bears while you're camping. And what's nice about a camp firearm is it can be heavy because you're not going on extended hikes. You're just cooking. We're cooking a lot of bacon here. We had bacon and sausage and eggs and potatoes for breakfast. And that will bring a bear in, especially in Alaska. So let's just go through what we have. First of all, my EDC is a 40 Smith & Wesson. This is a Glock 23, but I do have a lone wolf barrel in it there. And I know people make fun of 40 and they make fun of 45. I like both of them, but I'm actually getting 500 foot pounds of energy with the extreme penetrators because I've got good lockup with this aftermarket barrel and it's longer too. So I'm getting really good power and I like it because it's as thin as a Glock 19. I have small hands, so it fits my hands really well. So that's my EDC and that's something more that I carry around town, but it will work in a place like this. Now the next pistol I have, and I took this out when I was hiking and even biking, I've got it in a GS chess holster. This is an FNX 45, but it's got a 460 rolling aftermarket barrel and mag spring. So I'm getting almost 44 Magnum power in a semi-auto, 13 rounds. I've got some extra mags and I'm using 250 grain hard cast. So it, this is just devastating. It's been really reliable for me. And I'm actually using 45 Super Plus P that is just under 45 rolling power, but it's hard cast, 250 grain, and it's been reliable in this. And my buddy loaded them up and he even put like lacquer on the primers. So it's completely waterproof, extra crimped. So I could submerge this in water and it's still going to fire for me. So that's the next one. Uh, the next one is kind of fun. And this is a Strybog 10 millimeter with, with the brace. This is kind of like a pistol caliber carbine. I don't know what you would call it, a pistol, but I've got 30 round mags in here. Uh, one of the mags has 200 grain hard cast that Chuck loaded up for me, but it's really hard to beat. I've got an optic and this is kind of ideal for camp because you can just keep it in your tent and you're ready to go. So 10 millimeter, Kind of similar to the uh, CMMG Banshee that Chuck had. Next is something new I got. This is a Marlin Dark Series 4570. This is perfect for camp because it's so, it's got a 16.17 inch barrel, very short, hard hitting 4570, but I'm also probably going to hunt with it. I want to put an LPVO or a little four power scope on there. So uh, lever action, just the solid Marlin that Ruger is now making. Um, definitely enamored with this. I got the cheek piece on there and it's got a little red dot. So for camp, uh, this is very accurate and this is going to be devastating for a bear, but, uh, it'll be interesting. Just let you know what beans and Rob have for bear protection. This is the ultimate. You want a 12 gauge shotgun. So I got a Mossberg 500. I had a blast just tacking it out. I've got a red dot, a side saddle. It's got the heat shield. I actually had to bend the heat shield in with the vise to make it work with the Magpul forend there so I could put a light and my pressure switch. I do have a fiber optic front sight that I added to it. It used to have a pistol grip, but I like shouldering it. But there's nothing more devastating for a big brown bear than a 12 gauge shotgun and great minds think alike. So me and beans are both using Brennecke black magic slugs. It's what fishing game uses here in Alaska. So really devastating for bear protection. This would have to be number one for me, but uh, we're going to check in and see what these guys have. So what, do, what are you carrying today beans? So my pistol that I just carry while I'm walking around camp is uh, my M and P, 45. It's a good, reliable, uh, cheap, you know, relatively cheap 
Uh, it's not like my, my nice SIG 1911. If I'm out in the woods and banging around with it, uh, you know, I'm not going to be too upset if something happens to it. And I carry um, federal hollow points in it. And really, you know, this is just with me so I can fight my way to my shotgun, uh, which is a Remington Marine Magnum 12 gauge. Uh, I really enjoy this because this is really good to take on hikes or when you're out in the woods because it's really short. I have a scabbard for it. I can wear it on my back if I want to. It's not going to get snagged on branches and leaves and such. And I carry the Brennicky Black Magic slugs in it as well. And, uh, you know, it's stainless, so I don't have to worry about it rusting up. You know, when we went out to Port Chatham and we were on the boat, it wasn't a problem. Uh, you know, I, that's one of the reasons why I bought it is because I live in Alaska. There's a lot of salt water, and I like the compactness of it. And it's just a good all-around platform for fair protection. And uh, it served me well. Absolutely. And we've got all the bases covered because in his very comfortable camper, Rob, you've got a 44 Magnum, right? Uh, yeah, I do. I have a little uh, Taurus snub nose, stainless steel. Okay. It's really nice uh, for backpacking because it's small. Right. Even if I want to go on a quick hike and it's summertime and I just want to throw something in my pocket, it fits in my pocket. Nice. Uh, other than that, I have a couple of uh, air rifles that I bring along to, to shoot pop cans. With the suppressor. Yeah, yeah, with the, yes. So I'm silent. It's busted out. Ninja. But that's about it for me. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. Remember to check out their channels. And uh, we're just going to be cooking food and squatching out here. It's a beautiful day. It was oh, raining cool. last night. We finally got some sunshine. Beautiful spot. So we're loving it. My name is Two. I like to trade my guns just for fun, but now I have none. Oh, look at Charlie Bear, but I don't care, I got a 10 millimeter. Shoot out your adventures. Why don't you almost die every time? Guaranteed.